Hello, oh, welcome to the Divi Engine. Uh, we develop plugins for the Divi theme, and I'd like to just show you uh, our first plugin, Divi Nitro. Divi Nitro uh, speeds up your Divi theme uh, in three ways. So I'm just going to go back to or well, go to the back end. There's Divi Nitro. You have different images. What that is is it basically loads the images after all the scripts, after the HTML. So um, what happens is when the when the viewer sees the site, everything loads. Uh, the viewer sees the page finish loading, and then the images load in the background further down the page. Uh, so they it gives the impression that the site's finished loading, when actually there's still images that are being loaded in the background. Images images are one of the biggest uh, causes of slow websites. That in I would say uh, what I what I've experienced is that in the server server response time but images yeah just because they can be quite big it takes time for it to download second option if you if you really have Divi Nitro installed you'll see there's a new uh, the, the, the mini file options has been updated and it's been moved to this page which is actually in settings Divi Nitro mini file uh, we've updated it to uh, to mini file and combine any well most javascript and css files that are being queued by other plugins by wh whatever on your site so i'll first of all show you what deferring images does so we defer images on all the divi modules so image gallery blurb slider items so you see it's not items not slider what that is is that's where there's image source so defer uh enable defer images that are on the slider please note this does not do it for the main slider background image so currently we don't uh, support uh, background images however we, we will look to release this in the future uh, so it's all ones that have image source we don't have blog here yet but uh, again that will be released so what i'll show you i'll just enable all of them you don't have to enable all of them just enable the ones that you use on the site i'm just going to enable all of them so you can see um that it's all you know it's all doing as it should on my home page I have a blurb I have an image so you'll see these are the ones that will be deferred so if I reload this page you'll see if I inspect the image see it's added this uh, data source or data data source you'll see it's added the data source and that that shows that the image has been deferred if I look at the uh, image module again there it is it's been deferred uh, what that does is I'll show you in a uh, well I'll actually show you on the image the defer image example on this page so what this page has done is I have loads and loads of images big high res images on the page and uh, I'll show you on here let me open this in a incognito window and what that allows is for it to uh, not not cache the images so you can see a more true representation of uh, of it being loaded so I'll load that and here's the network so what you'll see is you can see all this going on over here here's all the images being loaded so yeah as you can see it's still loading the page looks like it's loaded but in the background they're still loading see they're still carrying on and you can see all the images on the on the left once they've been loaded so this this works really well if you've got a page uh, like a scrolling site where you have lots and lots of images as this one does this works brilliantly so you can see it loaded in 2.62 seconds and it actually finished at 22 seconds because there are some quite big files here so well not, not massive files i mean there's one that's 1 1.3 megabytes so it's quite big this is a lot bigger than it should be uh, so you can see how that, that that would have taken you see where the red line is that's when the site finished loading as in when you stop seeing the loads uh, icon and then once it finished once the site finished loading all these images load in the background so that's what deferring images do if I just inspect it you can see the data source there you go so that's deferring images what I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to disable this so you can 
get like a uh, we can do like a little test here so let's do the home page analyze that okay so I'm busy analyzing that while I'm doing that uh, I'm going to show you the minifar section so settings living out your minifar what we have here is we have a helper to show you what scripts have been imbued on your site on the front end this can only be seen by admin users so don't worry but I'll show you what that is now clear the cache so that's if you made a CSS change or JS change and you want to just clear the cache it'll clear it up currently I have nothing see 4.8 seconds so it's somewhere around the 5 second 4 to 5 seconds somewhere around there uh, let's go and enable all the modules again so I'm enabling all you know but again you don't have to enable them okay I'll go to the minifier and uh, this is this is what I'm going to show you about minifying so if we go to enable helper on front end and save uh, if we go back to the uh, whatever page you want to do it adds this thing here called Nitro minifier it only shows on, um, on, on for admin so don't worry about it if you click on that it shows you all the the files being enqueued now uh, the aqua or blue whatever you want to call it is for uh, scripts in the head and the green is for scripts in the footer you want to combine these ones together you don't want to be mixing header and footer don't worry if you do because uh, Devi Nitro will uh, automatically move them around but for safety reasons I like to do them myself manually so I want to take all the, the aqua ones copy that enable script modification and what it is is you have a queue so this is if I add them all in either you can do it by uh, comma separated or just one on top of each other and what that is is it's saying okay combine and com compress and combine all these files that's all the ones in the header so I'm gonna click on that you'll see all the ones over there go back to your home page refresh it Go back to the Divi Nitro uh, Minifar uh, Helper, and you'll see those are the ones that have been combined and compressed. Now, let me add all the ones in the footer. So, the reason why we've done it this way, we actually manually add it, is that it gives you complete flexibility, you know, control of if there is an issue. If, like, let's say one of the JS files conflicts with another one, you can by process of elimination find what the conflicting file is and then not include it over here there's uh, a few or five that haven't been com uh, combined or haven't worked and that's because th th there's been an issue with, with one of these conflicting with another one and we've picked it up and we've stopped it from doing that now I'm not saying that'll happen all the time but uh, it, it does you know like that's why I would say I mean I, I know that these ones work uh, but you know you, you can do manually one after another if you if you've been really careful if you really don't decide to to get messed up just do one check do another check do another check and, and so on now again he has all the scripts so you can see they're all on the header so it's, it's not an issue there copy all the scripts and open up in notepad that's what I like to do over here uh, I have my I know this, I have my two main uh, script files, which is the parent style, which is the Divi CSS, and then I have the Divi, uh, not Divi font, sorry, that's not that's what I asked, Divi style, and that's my child theme CSS. Now what you, what you want to do, and I stress this, is don't combine these two together. Uh, it's fine, you can just deactivate it or take it out, and it, it, won't, it won't break your site, but what it will do is... Uh, so basically the way it works is the parent style loads and then the child theme loads afterwards so when the page looks for which CSS to use over the other one it'll use the child if you combine them together then the parent style may become more important than the child theme style so then you need to start using important tags in your CSS and it just won't be good so well you, you can do it but it just isn't the best way to do things so let's uh, take the parent style I always like to do the parent style separate of the other ones 
but you can do whatever you want to do. You can just see what, 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 what works for your site, because each site is different. Every single site has, has different ways of the way you've done it. So I'm just going to put this one in the front so I know it. Yeah, each of them has, has different has different ways of, you know, like different plugins installed, different ways of, of, of the way the site's been coded. So whatever, you know, you can just do a process of elimination and see what works for you. I want to throw all those CSS scripts in together and let's uh, let's check it out and see see what's worked and what I would do is just you know scroll down and see that everything is still looking good still making sense there's uh, some that haven't that haven't quite worked and I know I know about you know, the WooCommerce is not working there so I'm gonna have to you know have a look at that uh, I know that WooCommerce at the moment isn't working and that's because um, basically we don't combine external scripts because it can cause some yeah major issues but well we can't physically because we don't have you know anyway so WooCommerce at the moment is being seen as an external script for some reason and I don't know it's the way they've, they've coded it I'm not too sure so I need to kind of work that out so at the moment WooCommerce isn't working and then there's some you know Debbie fonts and I'm using Roboto fonts so there's those things that aren't quite working but that's fine because it's not the major ones. The major scripts that you want to be looking at is the shortcodes responsive, magnify pop-up, shortcode CSS, and the two style sheets because those are the biggest files. So let's click off and um, yeah, so there we go. So we have our, um, and I can disable that for now if I want to, disable the helper. So I have my uh, all, all my scripts over here. Been, now if I reload, and our uh, view page source, you can see over here, the Nitro Cache has combined all the CSS. If I look over here, it's got the, uh, that's the parent style, you see, so that's Divi, Divi CSS. Uh, if I do the next one down, if you look at the top, it's got Divi style, that's the child theme CSS, dash cons, admin bar, contact form 7, font awesome 4, Yoast. So all these, all these scripts in here, are the ones that have been combined into this big uh, style sheet. Again, for the JavaScript, is the same. You have admin bar, jQuery core, jQuery migrate, blah blah blah. Those have all been combined into this file, so you can see which is w which is with which. So hopefully that would uh, kind of you know Im improve the, the page speed. So I'm just going to copy it a bit quicker. There we go. Let's try to compare that URL. What I would say is I would, um, I don't know, because I, I know I did it earlier, but basically if you're using a CDN or Cloudflare, I would put development mode on, and, you know, purge the cache, because what happens is, uh, let's say the CSS sheet has been cached by Cloudflare and it's not minified or you're not seeing the minified version on your own current site uh, that could be the reason why so if you just if you put in development mode you won't get any issues from that side of things so as you can see over here we have um, the previous one and then once Divi Nitro has been activated and set up so yeah like as I said before the you know the page speed grade was pretty good before but the main things to look at is now the page speed's gone down by a second. I mean, it's not that bad before anyway. Um, and this is just the, the home page, you know, like you, you need to look at testing all different pages. For instance, that this page over here, there would have been a big, big difference because of the image. Would have been a massive image uh, difference because of all these images. Uh, sorry, I go back over here. So then uh, total page size has been decreased. As you can see, and the number of requests has been decre decreased from 50 to 229. So yeah, so uh, I think that's it really. Uh, if you have any questions, give me a shout. Uh, yeah, and uh, I hope I hope you all find it useful as I've found it. And uh, let me know how you get on and if you have any issues. Thanks.